Hi everyone, welcome to our new decoration. Welcome to new readings, guys. So I have a surprise for you. This reading is called The Wheel. Okay, so now let's look. We're having, isn't it cool, guys? We're having the wheel right there. <laughs> and you see different topics. Usually I wrote them like crush, crush, you know, twin flames, the red. We have BTS here. We have friends. Um, so there are a lot of, yeah, topics on there, guys. Okay. So I'm going to roll the wheel. And we're gonna choose two topics, guys. And the topics that come out, those are the topics that I wanna do a reading for. After the reading, you vote which topic you like best. And this topic we're gonna use in the next video again. So it's like this topic versus this topic. For example, crush versus twin flame. And the topic you like best, this is the topic you know, you vote after the reading, you vote on that and um, on on my community, you know, you have to go to my community where I can post like, um, yeah, where I can post the stuff. There you can choose the topic you like best and we have this topic again going in competition with the new topic, okay? So I thought this is a really cool thing, so we're gonna see. I have to look how I can how I can position myself without being seen. <laughs> so guys, okay, let's do this. Topic one. Oh wow, okay, so we ha we have school. We have school coming up. And now we're gonna choose school versus what? School versus Twin Flame, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to choose a school topic and then I'm going to choose a Twin Flame topic. And what you like best, this is what you're, yeah, you're voting on. And this topic we have next time again when we're doing the wheel, okay? The Smeraldo wheel. <laughs> I liked it. Okay, guys, you see me in the reflection. Bye, guys. <laughs> see you at the timestamps, okay? This is an interactive reading. It's very cool. I love this. See you. Hi, guys. So this is our school topic. You see four markers, highlighters in front of you. And you choose the highlighter that, um, yeah, that you are most drawn to, to what color. And then I'm going to do um, a card on When is the best time for learning? I will draw two tarot cards, okay? One is when is the best time for learning, like on the day? When can you learn best? And then I will draw a card, how can you study better, okay? Two cards for each pile and you're gonna choose the pile, okay? Haha, <laughs> this is fun, isn't it? Please, at the end of the reading, um, please go to my community post and vote if you liked the twin flame topic better or the school be topic better because from the two topics which topic gets the most voting will be in the next wheel reading again okay so if you like a topic best you can keep that topic okay so just you know <laughs> so choose a topic um, a highlighter and then we're gonna start guys timing is in the description box below if you're here for the first time, please sign up to my channel, guys. Bye. Hi, everyone. You chose the he yellow highlighter. So let's see if this is working. Let's see if this is working. Okay, guys. If you like that topic, we can do that more often, you know. So you can also write me if you want to add topics for the wheel. So... There are a lot of more topics that I can write on. You know, I don't have to have two career um, fields, you know, on the wheel. You can write me if you have suggestions for topics that I can put on the wheel, you know. So, part one. 
what is the best time for studying for pep one i want to draw one card this one okay <laughs> and what um how can pep one study better how can pep one study better oh my gosh there is a lot of thoughts here a lot of thoughts energy I also want to get one general. Can you see this? I want to get one general. We have Aries. Maybe you are in Aries. I don't know. Maybe this date, the Aries season is important for you. How can pile one yellow marker study better okay decide and nature okay guys let's see what we're having here what is the best time for you to study um I feel during the day or in general, you have so much stuff to do. Like you have a lot of going on. Like your mind is always busy. I see this here, you know, um, you really never find time for studying. It's like, um, you know, you need, like when you study, you need to put time aside for studying. And I feel here that it, this is a really hard point for you because you have so many other things going on and you find hardly time a quiet place a quiet time to study because you have so many things going on you know look at all these swords those are all the the things that are going on in your mind so because of all the things that are going in on in your mind during the day it's hard for you to find time so what i see here is that pi one you need to make time aside you you need to put time for your study you know and here it's saying use your pioneer be a pioneer um that means do something different so that means do something different than no one else is doing and i also know the um areas areas is someone who loves doing things that are out of the norm you know they 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 are very open and areas is very open to new things so with that seeing being seen here I feel that also with this red color, you know, this is um, <clears throat> because you have so many things going on, especially in your mind, um, studying, like making time for studying is like a red flag for you. It's like, uh, you know, you, you hardly find time. And um, what I feel here is that before you study you should take a walk it says reconnect with nature feel the sun on your skin walk barefoot on the grass i mean um this is like getting fresh air like opening up the window you know letting your thoughts fade because here nature also tells me um becoming quiet putting yourself like on a chair and coming calming down you know this tells me before you study you need to decide it's time for you to make a decision call upon your spirit guides for help um decide during the day when you want this time for studying because you hardly find time so i would suggest um ev even either do it in the evening like at eight around eight eight to ten in the evening don't watch a movie make time for this you know i know many people watch a movie in the evening um but during the day, your mind is so busy that uh, if you learn during the day, if you if you do that, it's like this. You know, you're like, boom, nothing is working. You know, this is the card of being stabbed in the back. Um, and then, you know, because there's so much going on in your mind, if you study during the day, you will always... Um, go to your phone you will always look through your phone because you're thinking oh my gosh there's something else i have to do oh my gosh i have to look into my group for school what's going on so you always mm, how do you say <sighs> oh 
what is the word for that? You distract yourself. You know, you distract yourself because um, sometimes you, you rush it and you're saying, oh my gosh, you know, I, I have to learn for this test. So in all these thoughts, there is this test thought, but you're not taking your time for this. So you have one, you need time for learning. You need to put time aside for learning. You need to decide on learning. You need to say, okay, um, today from eight till 10, I'm going to learn. Like make a planner where you write down learning. And don't study at night, like completely at night, like from 10 to one, it's not working. Completely at night, it's not working. I would say eight, eight to 10 is the best time here in the evening. And during the day, it's hard for you too, because you distract yourself with too many things, especially with your phone. How you can learn better, put your phone aside, okay? Put it away. Like, put it out of your room. Don't let it near you. Because if it's near you, you, you always distract yourself with your phone. And learn the things that are new for you first, because um, your mind likes that, okay? <laughs> your mind likes that. So, um, if you begin with um, mm, old things to learn from a subject that you already have learned, your mind is bored. Um, and areas get bored easily. So you don't need to bore yourself with stuff, you know? That's how you can learn better. Like learn the things that are new for you, learn them first and put your phone aside. I don't think you wanna learn like, I think the, the old way of learning here is better. Like writing down, you know, sitting on a table, mm, not learning online. That's what I'm seeing here. Nature is like the old way also. And get in between the learning, like only learn for two hours and then, um, you know, get some rest, take a walk, go out with the dog if you have one, you know, just do something to distract yourself and then go back. But when you go, when you sit down for study, only study and do it the old natural way, not with a phone. Okay, I'm just saying this works better for you. Okay, this was part one. I hope you like this reading. <laughs> Bye, guys. So hi, pile two. So let's see, how can pile two study better? Let's see. How can pile two, the orange marker, study better? What, oh, yeah, here. What time is best for them to study? What time is best for them to study? So I want to get the cards first, guys. Um, also, please tell me if you want to have other topics on the wheel. I don't need to have two topics on the wheel, like for crush, you know, you um, those were just the topics that I found. If you have different topics for us, just tell me and I put them on the wheel. Part two, how can they study better? Proud. Holiday. So I'm drinking my coffee beside. I don't know why, but when I see the Libra card for timing of study, you know, the Libra is the number 11. And um, I don't know, I always think of Gemini when I hear Libra. So I always think of um, October 13. And since the 11 is within the 10 and the 13, so I think the best time for you to learn is um, between 10 o'clock in the morning and 13, like one.
Yeah, between 10 o'clock in the morning and 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, that's that's usually when um, <laughs> when school is, you know. I don't know if you're in your school there's a lockdown. If there's no lockdown and you have time, study in the morning, you know. Study between 10 and 1 before lunch. Before lunchtime, this is the best way for you to study, you know. Um, I also see in the evening here because... Well, not in the evening, like um, when you go to bed. I see a time out here. Maybe until 11. But mm -mm, there's daylight here outside. I think really in the, in the, in for lunchtime, it's better for you to study, you know, as early as possible. We have the 9 here. Oh, okay. Maybe from 9 to 11 also in the evening. Okay. So 10 till um, 1 for lunchtime and 9 till 11 in the evening. Okay, best time for you to study. Mm, what I see here, it's, it says time of your life, you are mirroring the world and the world mirrors you. So that means whatever you're thinking, whatever you're mm, learning is reflected in your life. So I really feel that you have to motivate yourself here. I see motivation. You have two major arcana, the justice and the hermit. The hermit is how can you study better? You need to be completely on your own for yourself. Um, it tells me that you need to redraw, like um, see that no one is disturbing you in that time. Like close the door, even put a key in and uh, lock the door maybe, you know? <laughs> You have to be completely in hermit mode. This is different. Some people can learn in groups, you know. But I see here you are best when you learn on your own. You have to study um, on your own. You have to lock the door. And I see you can study best with your um, laptop, computer. Online research, you know. So um, maybe get a topic and then search everything online about that topic, watch videos, you know, I see um, this pile here, it's not like pile one. Pile one, I don't see the laptop and the phone at all there. Here in pile two, I see that um, for you, it's a good way to study to watch videos because I see the laptop here. Watch videos and um, learn by the world. Learn how, I mean, that's the World Wide Web. Learn how the world is doing it. That tells me that you need to watch. You know, you need to watch videos on YouTube, maybe about the topic, um, you know, if we're talking about history. Um, you can learn better if you're seeing the truth, you know, like on the internet. So I really feel pile two, pile orange, you need to um, study with the internet. You need to watch YouTube videos about the topic. Um, you need to practical, get it. And you need to be on your own. So. You know, if you study from 9 to 11 in the evening, close your door and tell your parents or your family they should not disturb you because you're learning. You need to be complete in complete isolation. That means not talking with your friend on the laptop, you know, not doing WhatsApp or not chatting. It means just studying, you know, just watching videos. And you guys know from 9-11, two hours are enough of studying a day. Don't, you know, the thing that you guys all do wrong is um, you like delete or delay, not delete. You're de like delaying studying until the last minute. And then you're sitting there like all day, like 15 hours a day and studying. This is not possible. You know, you need, there's nothing more than four hours what goes into your head. It's just not possible. Um, a mind cannot hold that strong power that you can like sit there for 12 hours and study even if you see in college like people sitting there for um 10 hours in the library that's just not possible your mind can get like four hours of studying into the mind and then that's it so if you want to study in a good way it like it's meaning for you um you need to be in this state in hermit mode like you know once a day every day like from 9 to 11 you know maybe don't watch movies but watch videos about the topic you really can study good if you watch practical things on youtube about the topic that you're studying okay 
and I think you're good in law. I don't know. I mean, we have the lawyer here. So you're good at law, analytical stuff, analytical. Look at analytical things. You can, we, you are very good in, in um, figuring out analytical things, math, science. You're good at this, you know? So the other things, what you're not good at, just watch videos, you know, maybe history, things for um, learning, like not by doing, you're not good at. I see here, maybe um, languages or um, history, things that you have to get into your mind. Okay, so watch watch videos about the topic, you know. And then we have be proud of who you are, where you've been and where you're going and holiday. Um, you need to put um, goals in order to feel proud of what you accomplished. So let's say if you want to study history and you have to study, let's say, the Second World War, watch videos about the subject from 9 to 11 in the evening. Um, maybe also write down what you've learned in the videos and then set a goal. Let's say if I make the history test with, um, you know, if I can make it with an A or a B, then, you know, I will be very pr so that you are proud. Um, then, you know, Get yourself something that you are dreaming about, you know, like um, treat yourself something good, you know, like let's say if you can talk to your parents and say, when if I do all my, my, my grades good, can we do in the holiday that we go, I don't know, that we go there and you buy me a book, let's say like that, like, like little things, you know, um, reward yourself also for the students here the students that are on my channel you know you you guys who go to college I mean you can reward yourself you are an adult reward yourself okay maybe go out have a holiday um, do something for yourself you know maybe have a nice bath or go with a friend go chat with a friend in between you know set yourself a goal let's say uh, once a week if you study good at the end of the week you go and get your favorite sushi from your favorite sushi place, even if it's a more a little bit more expensive, okay? And then you reward yourself and that feels good. It's like you're getting justice for what you did and this is how your mind works. Your mind needs this, okay? I hope I could help you by too. <laughs> okay, so after this reading, go on my um, post section and vote for if you like the Twin Flame reading better or this one. And we're having the same topic then in the next wheel reading. Okay, bye. Hi, pipe pink lighter, highlighter, marker. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see what the universe is saying to you. Um, first, what is the best time to study for pipe pink? Okay. Uh, how can you study better? Why is this coming out all the time? How can you study better? It's like, put your phone away. This pile also, I mean, it even has your color there. <laughs> put your phone away. This is also studying the old way, I feel here. It's sort of almost the same, like pile one. Okay, we have a virgin. Maybe you, you are, why did I say, why did I say where? <laughs> Virgo, not virgin. <laughs> I don't know why I said this, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I meant Virgo. <laughs> I don't know what this is relevant here. We have recharge. Yeah. Go and put your phone on recharge while you're learning. You're not looking to your phone. <laughs> And teach. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> I think you're a good learner. I think you're someone, if you understand the topic, you get it right away. But um, you are also a person that distracts yourself a lot. Um, also Virgos, they distract themselves a lot. You know, there are too many things going on at once in your mindset. And how can you learn better? Um, make room for learning during the day. <clears throat> you know, make room for learning... But this is just not possible that um, you put your phone next to you, then you always are at your phone and you always distract yourself. So try to learn the old way I see here. 
um, okay, what it also is saying, it says, um, collect your rewards or collect things. So that tells me that, um, you know, you need to collect um, your, the stuff that you want to learn. Like, let's say for a week, you have like this subject, like one subject, and then like collect all the things that you need to learn, put them here, like on the table, and then go them go through them write it down and once you're done you go to the next subject like don't do all the subjects at once then you distract yourself because your mind is not cannot focus on one thing okay you need to put your focus here focus on one thing also this tells me um, that you can learn best in the evening or when the moon is out you know at night maybe even at two o'clock at night I don't know why this is saying usually we're sleeping you know, <laughs> but I don't think so. I think from six o'clock in the evening upwards, you know, like um, six o'clock PM, like six o'clock in the evening, you know, when the moon is out. So I don't know in your country when the moon is out, but when the moon is, moon is out, you can learn best. Um, also, you have to be on your own and you don't have to see things, you know, that tells me that um, you need also to go into hermit mode be on your own also be in a quiet mind yeah take yourself a tea you know this is also the the meditation pose being in meditation that tells me that you need to be absolute in a quiet space you don't need to have any worries because if a virgo is in worries they get distracted a lot okay they cannot um, focus what you need to do is this is focusing Focusing on one thing, not on two. Focusing on one thing. You know, charge your phone. It says, please slow down. It's not selfish to take time out to look after yourself. Yeah, take this time out, you know, and don't study like six hours a day. That's not working. I see the two here. So two hours a day is enough. That's why the two is here. Two hours a day is enough for studying. Always in the evening. Um, collect one subject and then go through it you know put your phone on charge somewhere else outside your room and also you are good at teaching guys it says you have a wonderful gift for working with others have you considered teaching so once you um this tells me that for you to get the subject into your mind it's best if you explain it to others so what you can do is first learn the things and then you know call a friend call um a fellow student and try to teach them the subject if they understood it then you're done you're you have it in your mind you know so this is how pile three can work or um yeah study better you need to talk to other people talk to your fellow students try to teach them something then you learn you know you learn automatically when you teach the other people but first you need to learn it to for yourself two hours a day when the moon is out and only one subject at a time okay guys not too much distraction here if you have too much distraction it's it would not work and don't distract yourself with the phone i see here also the old way of um, learning maybe if you have a board if you have a whiteboard like me at home write like a teacher you know <laughs> we always laugh about this but that's how it works you know if you are like tutoring others, you can learn the best, Pathway. You can learn the best. I think you're very intelligent here with this. I mean, everyone's very intelligent, but um, you get a lot of downloads from the universe with this um, purple color, pink color. That's the crown chakra. That's um, <clears throat> being very in tune with yourself and with the higher wisdom. So also study the things that are maybe not so good understandable for others study them first you know maybe often people came to you and said how can you learn this i don't understand this this is a this is a topic that's out of this world how could you get it that fast because you get things that are out of this world faster than <laughs> normal things like math or learning a language i see here maybe you know so try to focus on the things that you can good learn well better study them first that you can teach those to others you know that's what i'm seeing too and only one at a time 
So that's what I'm having for my pile three. Also, guys, um, you know, please, after this reading, go to my community post section and vote which reading you found you thought it's better. Um, you know, it's it's school versus twin flame today. So the topic that is chosen is in the next wheel reading again versus another topic. And you can also provide me with topics. You know, I don't need to have two crush topics on the wheel. So if you think of a topic that you really want to have, I put it down. You can write it in the comment section here under this video. Okay. See you guys. Hi, pack green highlighter, green marker. So let's see about you. Pack green marker. What time can they study the best? Um, how can Pile Green study in a better way? I just want to use one card today, you know? I also get one card, Pile Green, please. How can they study better? <laughs> That's cute. And I also want to get two direction cards before we test around. Abundance. Communication. Okay, guys, so let's turn around. Also, I want to say um, after this reading, please go to the community post and vote which reading of this um, the school versus twin flame, which topic you thought it's better. This topic is in the next reading against another topic, okay? So I just want to do this for fun. This is fun, I think. <laughs> and also you can give topics for our wheel because I don't need to have two twin flame topics or two crush topics on the wheel. You know, you can give me other topics, but I did not think of man that many. Um, so you can give me topics for that, okay? So what time is best for studying during the day we see this here and yeah in a group guys you need you are a group learner you are a person that can better learn in a group of people you're not a lone learner well you could but, but basically you could this is a loner like not a loner but someone who can learn independent and also can learn with a group but with a group that you feel good at, not with a group of people that you don't feel good. Because the, we have the cancer here. The cancer is only can only work together with people he likes. So if you are in a group where you don't like the people, it would not work. You would um, put yourself out of this group and you would not learn because you're distracted by your dislikes of the people all the time. You know, it's really like this, guys. <laughs> I'm a cancer myself. I know this. Um, so... You know, the cancer also needs to have it cozy. Like, let's say if you can study better with a group of people, first choose um, only three people I see here. So maybe three people from your study group or from your co college or from your school. You know, um, do like a group, a learning group and meet maybe twice a week or three, three times a week because we have the three here. Three times a week, you guys meet up and it must be friends. You know, you... You need to feel good. It says, um, look at your feelings. You need to feel good, guys. The most what I see here is four. Four people. Not more than four people, okay? So meet in groups with three to four people or even with another person like you are two. That's okay, good. That's okay too because Cancer likes to work in two with two people. Mm, what I see is when you're learning, you have to feel good. That means, um, you know, get something to drink, get something cozy. Like get some some stuff on the table for food, you know. I, I learned when I studied, um, like, you know, I studied a master. I have a master degrees. Um, I studied for like seven years in college. Um, we used to meet up in learning groups um, also twice a week. And I used to, like, they came to my house, you know, and we used to, um, like, I used to prepare like drinks, you know, not alcoholic drinks, but like Coke and... Um, crackers something nice so that you feel well while you're learning and then you know don't learn for more than three hours this is important too because not a group can learn straight for three hours it's just not possible you guys would distract yourself okay 
at the end you would end up drinking you know <laughs> i mean that's fun too you know maybe you should be drinking and having fun after the learning but try to look that you really learn with the group not that you guys meet up and um you drink you know even right now in germany this is not even allowed you know because we're having a lockdown our like a household in germany is only being able to meet up with one other person from another household so this would not be possible even now but if it's possible in your country you know please do that because it's saying you can learn better with friends yeah? communicate because if you talk about communication is talking about the subject talking about what you're learning communicate with others more freely speak up you have a right to be heard so it's when you communicate about the subject with other people um you get it in your mind better the abundance is coming more in you are more abundant you know more you know it means your mind straightens up your mind <laughs> widens <laughs> when you are in communication with people like do it the cancer way also cancer draw back so it could be that you need to have a good balance between learning with people that you like and also being alone on learning you know we have the nine of pentacles here I see here very good at learning from nine o'clock in the morning because we have the sun here. So this tells me it's not nine o'clock in the night. Um, I get in in the evening till nine. Yeah, till nine. After nine, you should not learn anymore. So if you meet up with groups, do it in the afternoon. I see here afternoon learning is very good for you, you know, um, the heart chakra, you have to love it, you know, so if you are for yourself learning, then make it cozy for yourself, you know, get yourself a coffee like I have here for, for my videos here, like get yourself a coffee, get yourself um, a tea, like some, some cookies besides, so make it cozy for yourself, that's, that's how, how I see you can learn better make it cozy or study in a group with not more than four people and when you guys study like really communicate over the problem or over the um the subject that you want to learn that that would really help widen your mind and strengthen your mind yeah abundance is coming to you um when you have a good balance of this i think yeah, but I really feel pie four. There's no not really a way how you can do it because you're good in either ways. Like you can study in a group or you can study alone. But I really feel that here you have to have it a cozy atmosphere. You know, you could study better when it's cozy, even if it's at nine o'clock in the evening. Like if you study from, um, let's say from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., make lighting, you know, yeah, make it cozy. Make yourself a light, a candle, you know, make it cozy. For yourself that's what i'm seeing here for my pile four you need a cozy atmosphere okay guys <laughs> i like this reading i hope i could help you with this guys okay so i'm saying bye guys bye so hi guys now we're here at the twin flame reading and i chose the same colored as we had the markers i chose the feathers so first feather we have is yellow second orange third pink and fourth is green it's the same colors that <laughs> you had for the school reading so this is the twin flame reading and the topic is what like like the topic is the twin flame but in the topic i'm just um you know randomly doing readings so what we're doing here for the twin flame reading is um <clears throat> i'm looking at what topic is mirroring right now from your twin okay what topic in your life is compl a complete mirror to your twin and then we can see how you can work on that okay so i think that's very important after the reading please go to my community post and um, choose which reading you like better the twin flame topic or the school topic automatically the topic that wins is in the next real reading versus against another topic that we're choosing then okay so i thought this is a fun reading <laughs> also um you know please give me topics that um you know if you think of other topics you have seen me i sometimes have two crush two twin flame topics i don't need to have two on the wheel but there were too many fields 
and I could not think of so many topics. So if you have topics for me that I can put on the wheel, just be free to put it in the comment section down here, okay? So make your choice, timestamps are as always below. See you at the pious. So hi part two, let's see your reading. What topic is completely mirroring in your life from your twin? So let's see. I hope you can see everything really good. So what topic in your life is a complete mirror of your twin. There we go. I just want to have this one. <clears throat> and I want to get two cards. What this topic is all about. Another explanation of the topic. And how you can overcome this. Or what... Hmm, let's see. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to use this deck. So we have, listen, I just do it this way. <laughs> yeah, I just deciding on whatever. This is spontaneous. And now I want that the universe tells you how to deal with that topic. So, okay, so we have three cards. What topic is a complete mirror of your twin flame in your life? Um, what this is all about and how can you um, yeah how can you change it for you or we could also how this shows up in your life this topic yeah let's let's do get another card how this shows up in your life this topic okay get this okay this is your twin this is you and this is how you can solve it so it makes more sense because then it's a twin it's a twin flame reading. We should do a twin here. So what is the topic? The topic is movement forward. Okay. This is freedom. Movement, freedom, being free, being free what to do. We have number 11 here, which is also an indicator for the twin flame because there are two wands, you know. Um, yeah, movement forward. Okay. So you're moving forward. So let's see how this shows up in your twin's life, the movement, and then in your life. So there's movement going on, which is good to see. So we have the Hierophant here. Yeah, the movement is that your twin flame is, um, yeah, just awakened to this connection or they awaken for a long time. They're like a spiritual teacher. I see them ascending here, you know, in whatever way. If they are awakened for a long time, um, they are they are studying the subject, you know. I see them teaching. I see them being um, a leader, teaching what they have learned. So they are woken, you know. They're moving forward. They're in their soul task. Look at this. They're in their soul task. I mean, this is the hierophant. This is a spiritual teacher. So wow, this is big because they're moving forward because they're completely. Um, completely in their soul test they're doing what they're told to do by the universe and they're moving forward so how this shows up in your life i mean that's perfect if we have movement here that's a very good thing you know <laughs> oh my gosh that's why the ten of cups is here wow i love this it could also be that you guys are married and you are becoming you're becoming pregnant you're getting a child i just want to say this because this could apply but usually twin flames are in separation you know, very, very rare that twin flames are in, um, like in, in union. So what I see here with this card is, a child is a new beginning. You just discovered something new. I feel you're also like an ascension. This is emotional happiness, emotional fulfillment, um, loving the things you're doing. So with this child, um, this is also the Empress birthing something. So you could also just enter your um, soul task, you know, or you're beginning to birth it. You're absolutely emotional fulfilled. You're fine with, um, you know, we have a celebration here. Um, you're fine. You're nurturing your child. You're happy. Wherever you are, you feel happy in this place, you know. So movement is going on for the both of you. And I think that's very beautiful. So you are just doing your soul task for a little while. You know, you just maybe you also just discovered. And it also could be that, um, you know, divine feminine, you are the, actually the divine masculine. You are in your spiritual task for a long time. And your twin is your 
feminine, they just awoken to the baby. You know, they just birthed this whole journey. But both are awakened. One is longer in doing their soul task, the other one just birthed. You know, they just birthed. The soul movement is going on for the both of you. Please apply where you are because I have no idea. You could be on either side. So what is the advice for the universe? Keep moving. Work through your fears. Yeah, Scorpio. The Scorpio is all about also a new birth, a new, um, a new self. I always feel when I see the Scorpio card, um, you could be a Scorpio, by the way. We have Scorpio water sign here. One of you could be a Scorpio. And we have Taurus here. Taurus. The Hierophant. An earth sign. Work through your fears. Yeah, I think both of you are working through your fears. And the universe is saying if their fears come up, you know, because of course you this person here the feminine has this is the masculine here the masculine is in their soul task for a long while they're spreading the, the everything there there is movement and the feminine just birthed this whole thing so i mean this is very beautiful here and so the universe is advising you if you move on both of you need to work through your fears you know there is some fears coming up and that's why you're not in union you're not in because this is beautiful but here you would ask a question, well, why are they not in union? <laughs> because this is like movement, it's beautiful. It's because there are some fears in between the two of you. Some fears that are still holding this connection back. Um, I want to ask what those fears are. Just, just give me a second. I want to get this with the Lenormand card, this beautiful Lenormand. What are those fears here? that keep away the union. Yeah, the deck. <laughs> they always throw me out the deck. Communication, look at this. They're avoiding, the, the communication is avoided. The independence is here more important because of whatever. I feel it's coming from the masculine energy from the Hierophant. Please take it as it resonates. Um, it could also be that the feminine Well, it could be that you're, if your divine masculine is in feminine energy and they just birth, they just awoken to the connection. They are here um, caught in some other family. You see, this is a very, um, you know, this is a very rich household. They, they are somewhere else. So it could be they're fearing communication because they're bound to something else, you know. But the Hierophant is already working on their soul task. Um, it could also be, I mean, the... Communication is avoided because of independence. Someone needs their independence more or is afraid of losing their independence. Okay, so that's why union is not happening until now. But work through your fears. That's the advice. So that's all what I'm having pile yellow feather. Isn't that beautiful this reading? Bye guys. So hi, next up is the orange feather. So first I want to see what is the topic that is mirroring in the both of you right now? What is topic is mirroring for the both of you? Okay, we get this. Then I want to see how is this shown in the one person and how is this shown in the other person? You need to see which one you are. This is the one person. This is the other person. And then we're going to get an advice from the universe. Advice for the universe for this pile orange feather. There we go. So guys, let's see. Can you see everything? Well, I hope so, right? So first we have the topic. It says the high priestess of spirit. Wow, I love this card. Look at how beautiful. So this is like, um, look at this. Um, getting information from spirit, being highly intuitive. The high priestess is someone, um, you know, who is in dreams getting downloads from spirit. I see here this is the universe getting you information. The universe giving you information to the both of you. I see here in meditation or in dreams, both of you get insights about your journey. Wow. Yep. 
there's a downloads happening from spirit to you, either in meditation or um, in sleep. I also see both of you are awakened. Both of you are the high priestesses. I mean, hello. Both of you are completely awakened to the journey. So how this one person, how is this um, shown in one person? We have the nine of wands. What is this? I have to look for what, what is this card saying? I feel here someone has broken up. I mean, I see here nine wands and there's a death. There's the death, you know, she's sitting on a cemetery and she's reading a, a letter. This is for me like a breakup letter. What I'm feeling when I see this card is um, this could be your other half. It's like um, they're getting information on why this hasn't worked out. Look at this. There are nine wands already laying on the ground. So that tells me that they had nine significant relationships in their life. And um, yeah, I really feel that there's another cut, cut right now. So maybe from a karmic or there's a separation here from another person, not from you. And this person is getting information why this is not working out. Why the reason? Why was the reason that this person was there? And this is also the card about the wounded warrior, you know, the wounded warrior. Because here is the wolf coming, the lonely wolf. It's like um, if this is the divine masculine, they're saying, well, I'd rather stay alone because nothing is working out. Nothing is really um, working for me. This could also be your energy, you know, if you're just broken up with someone and you're like, why is nothing working out? You know, you get download from spirit. Why? You know, it's probably because of this connection. I mean, if you're a twin flame, nothing will work out. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So um, you're getting downloads um, because one of you can't move look at this the eight of swords um this is being completely not being able to make a move on that person you're not able like this person here and this is probably your energy divine feminine you're not being able to make a move on your divine masculine and both of you are in feminine energy that means both of you are receptive right now for this information for this download from spirit so that's where you're mirroring it's all about your confidence, guys. The orange is the sacred chakra. That's all about finding confidence. Both of you need to find confidence right now in the situation. While this person here, please take it as it resonates, is more in their head. It's more in your head. You cannot find a solution on how to, to reach that person, how to reach out for that person, um, or how they would choose you. You know, you're, you're not seeing... You're just in the state of mind where you cannot move. You cannot make a move. You just have to wait. This is for me waiting, you know, the waiting game. So that's why, you know, right now you're mirroring this. One of you is in the waiting game here, this, this person. And I think this is you, Divine Feminine. And the masculine is also receptive. And they're, they're just broke up with um, someone, you know, or they're ending something or... They were not ready to end something, but they get the download from spirit. It's better to end this because it's it's not going anywhere. You know, one more wand and they are the ten of wands. That's like uh, completely overburdened by this, whatever this is. This is like this person is doesn't want to give up this um, situation they are in. And that's why, you know, you are waiting and nothing is happening because they're not ready to give this up. They're sitting on a cemetery. And, um, you know, spirit is wanting to communicate to them and saying, well, look at your situation. You're sitting on the cemetery. All of these relationships did not work out. You know, we're going to send you. You need to see, basically, but they're not seeing. They're saying, well, you know, hmm. you know, they're not giving up the situation they are in right now, even if the bad wolf is already coming. You <laughs> know. And the universe wants to give you information. And that's how you see completely mirroring is going on in this case, you know. So let's see what the advice from the universe is for the both of you. Yeah, meditate and contemplate. <laughs> that's exactly what I said. The both of you need to be receptive right now because you're getting guidance from spirit. This is meditate and contemplate about your situation. You're getting guidance. You both need to come into movement. 
your masculine is not giving up a situation they are in and it's not making them feel any better and you are not you're not being able to move that's because it's mirroring let me check where is the oh yeah okay i want to see with the lenormand i want to see what this is all about i always get one lenormand card with this meditation and contemplation maybe both of you are pisces yeah the ring you know look at this the seven <laughs> Both of you guys need to see that um, there is this this topic in your life. The ring is also telling me, you know, the Ace of Wands. You need to start a new guys. You need to find the spark. This is the spark inside of yourself. There is no spark here anymore. You know, both of you are like in desert right now. And uh, that's because you're murmuring. And the universe is trying to send you in information um this is like a ring we have new moon here right new moon yeah it's a ring it's um it's a theme it's a topic that comes again in your life again and again a ring is it goes around and comes around so that tells me the masculine has all these breakups and the feminine here gets herself always stuck <laughs> you know in waiting game so that's what you guys need to release you know this is important here for this couple pile orange okay so be ready for the downloads from spirit bye guys hi pot pink now we're going over to your reading so let's see i want to have it white let's see what the topic is that mirrors between you and your twin flame what is the topic for this couple? Okay. How this is seen in the divine masculine or feminine? How this is... Okay, we get two. So I'm, t I'm taking these two. And I also want to get an advice from spirit concerning this. What is the advice for pile pink? Okay, guys. So we're going to see what happens here. Pile pink. What is the topic right now that is mirroring rigid there is a wall yeah nothing is moving like there's a wall you know you want to get somewhere and spirit puts a wall in there this is like not being able to to go somewhere because there's a, a barrier or this could be a barrier because of protection this could also be but there is some wisdom to gain here there's something to see the raven is also for me to a uh, growth Something to see, something that both of you need to see. And there, um, the, there is a wall between you right now. I mean, that's very clear. There is a wall in between of you. So how this shows up in this person? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is this? Is this number 19? Is this the sun? Wow, the sun looks scary in this deck. <laughs> what is this? Is this someone coming for rescue or someone to to get her? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but there's enlightenment here. This is illumination. Something is becoming clear. Some breakthrough, you know. <laughs> I'm considering this as a breakthrough. Yeah, this is... There is a wall here because of the illumination. You know, she's sitting in the church. And whatever this person, you know, she's sitting in a church praying to the universe. Um, could be the divine masculine because they see nothing is really moving in their life. And they're waiting for the epiphany. This is also an epiphany, an illumination happening. This is the raven. The knowledge of why the stop is here. So I see this person. I mean, the, ni the, the 19 is the most important card. The most beautiful card in the deck. Here it looks for me as if it's not like the most beautiful card in the deck. It's more of like, I need to, to wait for this breakthrough. I need to, to wait for this person to rescue me out of this church. I'm sitting here in this church. I'm waiting and praying all the time. So one person, this is either you or your masculine, is sitting in the church, waiting and praying for this wall to dissolve. And a breakthrough is coming. You know, this breakthrough is this raven they want to give you. And here, on the other hand, we have the, what is this? The queen, the queen of wands, right? 
That's a beautiful queen. Yeah, that's the that's the rose. You know, she's seeing the rose. That's also an epiphany. She's seeing who her heart belongs to. That's so beautiful. I mean, I love these cards. Look at this. <gasps> so this is a rescue. And this is finally seeing who in all the roses. I mean, I re I'm reminded here, maybe this is even the masculine. The masculine then has a lot of feminine energy. The queen of wands, everyone wants them. It could be, guys, really. Because there are a lot of roses. And this reminds me of this, the little prince. Then we have a bunny here. And because in all the roses, she finally sees her rose. So this is an epiphany also. Okay, this is the, the raven is here, the most important thing. The universe wants to give you this raven Why the wall is here. The wall is here and the epiphany, because the epiphany has not happened. The epiphany for the one person <coughs> is the breakthrough when this person recognizes the rose. You see this here? Then they come for rescue. And while doing that, you know, while recognizing this rose, this person has to wait inside of this church, praying to the universe, being secured by the room universe. I mean, the church is there's, um, I don't see this someone bad coming in. <clears throat> but she's like, oh my gosh, I have waited for you. So this is also the, the color of the crown chakra. <clears throat> you know, the color of illumination, the color of the knowing. Wow. <clears throat> so basically the epiphany is coming here to both of you. For the one, you know, you see, oh my gosh, my person has finally found me. <clears throat> and they have, they got, you know, this person here sees the rose. So please apply it who is who. <clears throat> what is the advice from the universe? The energy is gaining momentum. Yeah, this is a momentum. This is an, an wow, look at this. It's even this color. The purple, the universe, the purple rose. The universe shows you both an epiphany, and this is a momentum, a momentum of a momentum of great. Wow, this is uh, that's why the sun card is here. The sun card is the most beautiful card in the deck. The momentum of joy, the momentum of that you have been waiting for, is the one recognizing the rose. Can you see what this momentum is? This is the moment of truth, you know, this is the moment of illumination, the breakthrough, the breakthrough is happening here on this person's end, the key, <laughs> this is crazy, yeah, <laughs> but he's not opening the key, you know, he's, he's jumping right through the, the church window, <laughs> I like that, that's like once this person finds this epiphany and the rose, they're like running, they're like, <coughs> converting into this masculine and they're like the beast this reminds me of beauty and the beast like the beast is jumping through the window they don't care <laughs> they go they're th go they're running through this wall <laughs> they destroy the wall in a second you know when they know who their rose is <laughs> the, the wow this is beautiful <laughs> wow what a beautiful pile oh my gosh that's like crazy you know everyone's waiting for this moment like wow that's beautiful thank you universe for showing me this is crazy okay now we're moving on to the next the last one bye guys hi pot queen this is your reading this is a very cool reading <laughs> i'm very happy so here you go what is between what is mirroring between the two twin flames? Well, the one twin flame. But what is mirroring, okay? <clears throat> How has it shown up in the, um, the person's life? Like in the divine masculine and in the feminine. And I also want to get an advice from the universe. There you go. Okay, pile green. Let's see what your topic is right now. Okay, trapped. Yeah, both of you are trapped. <clears throat> yeah, the seven, you know, this is made by the universe. This is, n you cannot remove this trap by yourself. This is a universal trap. You could be life path number three or number four. 
both of you could be one could be three one could be four um, but both of you are trapped <clears throat> so how is this showing up in the one person's life Ooh. we have temperance there was someone else but this is on a cemetery so I think the relationship is done this the relationship is not really existing um, <clears throat> they're, they, they feel spied upon you know I see they are with a person that's very jealous it could also be that they are very jealous you know <laughs> you never know <clears throat> and there's a third party in the background you, you see this there's a zombie coming <laughs> <clears throat> I'm laughing sorry but they are trapped in this third party okay there's a third party that is not making any sense anymore I mean it could also be the universe holding the both if this is the both of you the universe is keeping you apart you see this because there has to be balance so the third party in this case would be the universe then you know and the zombie the zombie is coming <clears throat> so the universe is keeping the both of you apart because there has to be an equal balance between the two of you i see the woman here giving her cup freely while the man is more watching her from a distance this is also spying i really feel the guy is spying on you if you are the feminine <clears throat> the masculine is spying on you and the universe has put a stop in uh, separation between the two of you because of unequal balance. That's why you're trapped. But it could also be that, um, you know, that, that they are, you know, your masculine is in a third party connection where they are trapped, where they're not feeling well. <clears throat> and in your case, someone left you. Okay, <clears throat> it could also be that this is, we're talking about the same person, you know, that they left you. I want to put this green feather because it's all about your heart, the opening of your heart here, you know. It could be that they left you. <clears throat> they had to leave you, they, they left you, they could not even say why, maybe they even ghosted you and now they're spying on you. But the universe made this. The universe made the separation. The cage is made by the universe. This is not something that is um, happening randomly, you know. It's never in those connections. And it could be because you have to heal your heart. Both of you heal, have to heal your heart. Both have, have to work on the heart chakra. So it's either a third party from their side that where they are trapped in. A third party could be another woman. It could be a job. It could be something where they are trapped and they cannot make a move. But it's made by the angels and they have guidance. And, you know, f for you, you just you just left something behind and you feel um, you feel not good. You know, you feel being left out in the cold. You 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 feel very much in. Um, yeah, not being able to have a functional relationship, um, being on your own, um, maybe someone left you, maybe someone ghosted you, maybe you ghosted someone. Um, it's just a feeling of helplessness and not belonging, not belonging nowhere. This is a feeling I'm getting here from this part. Not belonging nowhere, being trapped because nothing is really moving in your life. So let's see what the universe is saying here. We have again a Scorpio card we had a Scorpio coming out also today in part one so maybe you should watch part one it's time to release negativity yeah don't think about negative things here because I see here whatever third party they trapped in they're not happy and they're maybe even spying on you and here it's like you're not happy either both of you are not happy in this trapped situation both of you are not free to choose and the Scorpio is about letting that die. Whatever this is, you need to move on from the situation. And I feel you are guided by the angels. Because this is my angel card. I also want to get um, release negativity. Can I see a card? Yeah. You have to make a decision to get out of this. The Queen of Pentacles. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is an earth sign. What is it saying? It says the other way, the way or... I don't know. There are three ways. 
and number 22 you could see number 22 a lot okay the crossroads yeah um listen there is also for me this tells me that there are many ways that lead to your twin flame okay you don't need to suffer here because i feel that you're suffering and you are afraid that your twin flame is ever staying in the third party this could this kind also be you feeling left out in the cold and you're saying oh my gosh my my twin flame is ever gonna stay in this third party they never come out of this they they always walk away from me they never come and it's saying no listen you have to release this negative thinking both of you both of you need to be happy this is important here okay this is important you need to get out of this mindset you're having here you know just because you're trapped it doesn't mean that you never find your twin flame this is um right now what is happening right now in between the two of you okay so that's what i'm having i hope you like this please after this reading go and vote on the topic which topic you want to have next time in the wheel again bye guys